God lives and works today. He shows himself as a father who loves his children. A good father, however, doesn't spare any pains that something might become of his child. Today's meditation, a testimony from the life of Basileus Schlink, will tell us what God has on his heart for each one of us, for he loves us as no earthly father ever can. Every parent and teacher knows how much effort and pain is involved in bringing up children. I think about the many spiritual daughters Mother Materia and I have to bring up. With some it is easier, with others harder, and with some it costs much effort and many tears. But when God our Father brings us up, He plans for each one of us quite personally how He will train and educate us, so that one day we will become something good and beautiful. I could share with you many examples from my life, but perhaps I will tell you just one story about a friend of mine. I remember a friend whom I told about Jesus again and again, but she never responded. Later she told me, You know, when you used to tell me about Jesus and how I should give my life over to him, there was always one thought in my heart. The Lord Jesus might take away my husband. Her husband was her entire happiness, and that was why she didn't want to surrender her life to Jesus. But what did the Heavenly Father do, who loved my friend and wanted to bring her up as a good father would, preparing her for heaven and an eternal goal? Her husband was taken away from her in an instant through a car accident. In her great despair and sadness, she came to visit me, and she found Jesus, giving him her entire life. Now she witnesses to everyone. I've become the happiest person there is, yes, a thousand times happier than before when I still had my husband. Isn't that the incomprehensible love of the Heavenly Father? He knew that taking away his child's husband was the only way to help her to find the great, true happiness of her life. Let's thank God in this hour for all the ways in which he disciplines and teaches us, saying, my Father, I thank you that you chasten me, for in this way you show your greatest love for me. Father, I thank you for guiding my way. Father, I thank you for care every day. Father, I thank you for all I can see. Father, I thank you for This program by Basileus Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.